welcome back to my channel today as you can obviously tell from the title i'm back with a pretty little thing haul and this time i've not just got clothes from pretty little thing i've also got some of their homeware which i've never tried out before but oh my goodness me there are so many nice bits on there and some of the things that i've ordered i'm absolutely obsessed with so i'm so excited to share them with you without me blabbering on really too much more in the intro i'll quickly go through the mug for today's video but other than that I'm just going to get on with the pretty little thing haul. It'll be a try and haul as always. Everything will be linked down below. The mug for today is my pink The Crusoe mug. Just because I thought the pink worked with the pink of pretty little thing. Anyway, without me blabbering on anymore in this intro, I did say I was going to get on with the haul. I'm going to pop this mug down and we're going to get started. I'm going to start off with this shirt, which I actually ordered for a styling video. Which if you haven't seen, it was in my Styling Ultra Mini Uggs video. So I'll leave that link down below. Because if you haven't seen that video, you definitely should go and watch it. Um, but I ordered this shirt for an outfit for that video. So like... I didn't order this shirt because I saw it on the new intersection and was like, oh, that's really nice, I want it. I ordered it with a stick. I ordered it with a particular outfit in mind but I actually quite liked how it looked in a way it's a little bit creased um that's just how it arrived in the parcel so just ignore that but it's from their Renew collection which is apparently made with more sustainable materials and it's this kind of like I don't really know what colour to call this but like I was literally looking for a shirt in this colour for that video so it's pretty perfect but yeah I don't really know what colour you'd actually call this it's kind of like a grey green ish brown maybe even color like i don't really know like there's just a few different colors mixed into it but it's basically just this shirt i got this in a size size six but it is quite oversized so i wouldn't size up on this personally just because it is really big anyway um but this i just styled with some white um like wide leg like straight leg sort of jean type things from zara and i really liked how it looked quite a nice like spring summer outfit and a little bit different to what i normally go for it's still neutrals but like i can't put my finger on this color if anyone knows what this color is then please let me know down below in the comments because it's like a really odd color but i really liked it and then i will carry on with shirts actually i got this and i actually ordered the whole outfit because on the model it just looks so nice so i decided to get the whole thing um so this is the shirt it's like this please kind of um pleated that was what i was thinking of pleated shirt basically um so it looks like this it'll be easier to see on in the trial clips i got this in a size four and it is still really oversized so i actually sized down with this one because it, it like when they say oversized on pretty little thing with a shirt it's normally huge so i do tend to size down and um, just because they are so oversized and i'm glad i did with this one um the cuffs were undone in the trial clips just because i could not be bothered to do that up but they were just like really annoying and like baggy but just ignore that and then to go with it i got these trousers um these are a slightly different color but i quite Quite like that they're more of like a creamy kind of like straight leg almost cigarette sort of trouser and these i got in a size six and then the model did also have on this like bralette like a kind of stone faux leather bralette but i couldn't find it anywhere on the website you know like when you scroll down and it says like um i can't think what it says but like if you see something on pretty little thing and you like what it's styled with normally if you scroll down it will show you the whole outfit but it didn't have it on there so i don't know if they've not released it yet but basically it was like a stone bralette like i said i'll insert a picture of it just because it looked so nice and all together that as an outfit i thought would be amazing but because i didn't have the bralette or anything similar um i just kind of did the shirt up in the video so it didn't look as good as it did on the model but that was my um like the model wearing it was my idea not my idea i did not know i didn't style the model that was not my idea but like that was my idea of how to wear it like i was going to copy that idea almost but i didn't have a bralette okay that's what i'm trying to say so that is that i kind of want to go into homeware now because i just absolutely love the homeware bits that i got but i feel like i should do all the clothes and then do all the homeware i will carry on with clothing i'm gonna get all the clothing done and then we'll move on to homeware but trust me it's worth the wait because the homeware bits that i got are just amazing and i'm obsessed with them next up i got this hoodie so on the front it just looks like this it's kind of like again a bit of a weird color like a kind of brownie purple a little bit similar to the color that i'm wearing at the moment um but it's just a basic hoodie on the front and then on the back it says still his hoodie season and it's got this little like teddy bear on it and i really like the font of it i just thought it was really cool and i just love jumpers of like a slogan on the back i think they look really cool and like these are some joggers or something or even jeans i feel like you could wear this just so much like just wear it around the house or you could wear it out of the house like you could definitely not like dress it up but you could like wear it with joggers or you could wear it with jeans and have it as, like a proper like outfit going out for the day or something if you know what i mean and this one i got in a size 
extra small and for reference i forgot to say this at the start but for reference i'm five foot five and i'm a size six um and this is like a nice oversized fit again and i really like the color like i said it's a little bit different but i like that then we have some trousers these are kind of cargo-esque trousers so first up we have these ones which were super super creased they still kind of are they just like arrived really creased and i'm not sure why um these i got in a size six and they are called stone twill placket darted straight leg trouser which is a little bit of a mouthful i love the color of these they're like a nice stone color or like an accru sort of beigey color and they've got like a nice pleating detail there they've got pockets on them they're not a cargo because they don't have the cargo like um pockets on them and stuff but they were kind of giving me like utility trousers sort of vibes but like a little bit different so if you didn't like cargos but you wanted something similar i thought these were like a good alternative um they're kind of like what material are these i can't even put my finger on it they're not denim but like i don't really know how to explain it i don't know if you'll be able to tell from looking at it what material it is i don't think it says it on here but yeah i just thought i'd give them a go like a little bit of a different style of trouser for me and then these ones are like kind of cargos and i love the color of these they're like a khaki like a khaki dark green army green color they've got this super elasticated waistband to make them super comfy and then they oh this is really hard to show there we go they go down like this as you can see they've got the pockets on them they're just kind of like a straight leg sort of trouser and these i got in a size six um, and then they also have pockets on the back as well but the pockets on the back aren't real pockets they're just like little flaps and then the ones on the side are actual pockets which is quite handy so you can put your phone in them um but yeah i thought these were kind of a cute color with a nice little white shirt or a white crop top or something and i know people love uh, the book i know people are loving cargos at the moment so i thought i'd give them a go we're going to move on to a couple of summary bits now because i'm starting to get in the mood for a summer holiday i mean i'm never not in the mood for a summer holiday but like it's actually like it's a beautiful blue sky sunny day today summer is on the horizon and I am ready to be going on 20,000 summer holidays this year. So I've got a couple of like summer holiday bits, perfect if you're going away somewhere. First off is this dress, which is a dupe of a dress. I don't know where this dress is from, but I've been, well, I know that this one's from Pretty Little Thing, but like this is a copy of a dress and I don't know where the original one is from, but I keep seeing, in fact, I think I do, but I can't remember. I feel like it begins with a G. But anyway, I keep seeing loads of people wearing that dress or wearing similar ones. So they're super on trend at the moment. And when I saw this one, um, I thought I'd give it a go. So it's this orange dress and it's got this kind of like zebra print on it. And the zebra parts are in like a velvet. And then the rest is mesh. And then it has these kind of cutout details. This button at the top here does also do up. So you've got like two little cutout details. In fact, you've got three little cutout details. And then three little faux pearl buttons. And then because the dress is mesh, on the inside, side of the dress you have this like bodysuit on the bottom part which is a thong bodysuit and it's a popper so it's super easy it's not going to be a pain if you're trying to go to the toilet or something and then you kind of like see the bodysuit through the mesh bottom of the skirt i love the color of this this on holiday with the tan it's gonna look beautiful it's a bright orange color and it feels pretty good um quality as well actually and this i got in a size eight actually oh i've just seen that this is from the tall range i am five foot five so i don't shop in the tall range but this was actually a decent length on me and i do feel like if you find that like dresses or something are a little bit short even if you're only like five foot five buy them from the tall range because they're made for people with longer bodies but then they just won't be as short if that makes sense but this i thought was a good length and i've only just noticed that it was from the tall range so i don't feel like it looks too long on me as an average height person if that makes sense so that works really well and then carrying on with the orange i got this bikini which i saw and then i was like oh i don't need it. i've got like twelve thousand bikinis and then i kept gravitating back towards it because i just love the colors on it so it's just like a simple triangle tie around the top tie around the back bikini so this is the top so it's like an orange base and then it says plt on it in like red green and pink and i don't normally love like branded things like that that just say plt on them but i feel like because the pl and the t are all like scattered randomly it's not too noticeable and then these are the bottoms so just like a simple um little kind of basic bottom they look like that and again just the orange pink green and red forgot the pink yeah yeah orange pink green and red yeah on them and i just really like this i don't know if they did a matching like cover up because i personally love like when you have your cover up matching your bikini i can't remember the, whether they had one or not but i like that little bikini set so we have that and then i've got a couple of pairs of shoes before i move on to homer and these are actually the same pair of shoes just in two different colors so first up we have this like sagey green color and they are basically these really like thick padded um little like flip flops but i really liked the kind of ruching detail on 
the little like flip flop bit there i really really like that so i got them in that greeny color and then i also got them in like a cream because i couldn't decide which i preferred because i thought cream would go with more but i really liked the greeny color they're quite a thick um flip flop like i said and they're quite a squishy um little sole as well so it should be quite comfortable especially if you're doing like a little bit of walking around somewhere on holiday whatever um and i just thought they looked a little bit more expensive than just like a normal like 90p um flip flop from primark or something so we have those i forgot i had another pair of shoes so i'm going to show you these and then we will finally go into homeware but these again are a kind of like creamy sort of stone color and they look like this these are giving me abba vibes or like mamma mia vibes or anything like that because they are a super super chunky platform heel but i liked how simple they were like other than that like this bit's really simple it's a really nice sort of cream color and i know that these heels have been a bit on trend recently and because it's quite a chunky heel and quite a chunky platform it should be fairly easy to walk in but like Look at the size of that platform. That honestly looks like a giant wedge of cake or something. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm 100% on them just because they are so like thick and chunky and wedged and I'm not sure about it. But I do also kind of like it in a way. And I feel like in the summer, like this would look really nice with like a pair of jeans and a nice top and then just putting these heels on because they'd really dress it up. They'd add some height, which would ha like help make the jeans hang nicer. Um, but they should be somewhat easy to walk in because if you eliminate the heel, it's not, do you know what I mean? If you like take out how much the wedge is in the heel it's not too high and it's a nice chunky heel like I said so it shouldn't be too difficult to walk in but then again I say that and if I were to wear these I could probably still spray my ankle but I like them I thought they were cute really good for spring and summer so we have those and now we shall finally move on to the homeware which I'm so excited about first up we have this vase because we all know I'm a sucker for a vase I love vases I have way too many of them just as like decorative pieces in my room but this one I love and I feel like you guys are gonna love this as well she's got a little bit of polystyrene on her so just kind of ignore that but this is a body vase and it looks like so it's like a super curvy one which I really really like to be honest I've not been the biggest fan of these body vases in the past like I've not disliked them but I've never like got them before or been that like fussed about them whereas I know some other people like absolutely love them but this one I love it's got like these little love handles on it which I just really really liked and I love how like curved it is and stuff and then the back looks like this and I just I don't know I feel like it's a little bit nicer than the I don't know I don't really know how to explain it but I just like how accentuated it is I love the little handles on it and then you've just got the vase bit on the top and I just thought this was so cute and you could obviously face it that way or you could face it that way and it's so on trend and I think this is literally only like 20 pounds so an absolute bargain and I absolutely love it then I got a couple of prints because I've never like again not been like the biggest lover of prints like I've got no prints in my office no prints in my bedroom because I'm kind of fussy with them but these ones that I saw in Pretty Little Thing I absolutely loved so first up we have this one and I think these were literally only like three pound each um so first up is this one which just says ibiza on it and i love the fact that it's like a neutral base like these colors are so me and it's obviously very similar to like those books that everyone's loving those coffee table books but i love those books but they are so bright and colorful so it just would not work with my aesthetic but this however because it's like the neutral tones and stuff just works perfectly and then it has coordinates on the bottom which i'm guessing are the coordinates for ibiza but i'm not 100 percent sure but i just really like this and i'm hoping to be going to ibiza this summer as well so i thought it would like tie in quite nicely with that but even if i don't go it's still like a nice little um print just in, like in general if you know what i mean and i really like that and then kind of carrying on with the sort of summery like print holiday sort of themed prints i got these two so first up is this one which just says citrus twist on it this one is a little bit of color obviously but i thought like it was still like not too bright and colorful but it would still fit in so it's like a really nice light pink base and then it just has oranges on it like orange colors and i just thought as a pop of color in my office this would actually work really well and it was kind of giving me like italy positano sort of vibes i know the amalfi coast is sort of like lemons and not oranges but still it was giving me those kind of like summery sort of italian holiday vibes which again i'm hopefully going on this summer so i thought like i don't know i just like this print i thought she was cute i love the color orange i love the color baby pink and i thought like the baby pink background like kind of helps tie in with my office and then you've just got the pop of orange as a pop of color so i really like that and then this one is again kind of like a summery print it's not like a holiday one and like all of these prints you could obviously have up all year round but this one says happy hour on it again pink pop of color and then it's got like a little martini glass it says cocktails 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 and then it says beach club and that if you had a bar or something or if you were hosting a party or something like a girl's day or something in the summer with cocktails i thought this would be a really cute side i mean i've got no idea 
where I'd put this. If I had like a kitchen, obviously I have a kitchen, but it's not my kitchen. I live with my parents. But like if I lived on my own or something, this in the kitchen could look quite cute. I just think this is kind of sweet and I just love the colours of it. So we have that. And then talking of kitchens, we have this, which is one of my favourite things that I got. And I just can't believe that I've not seen something like this before. I mean, there's probably other places that sell this, but I've never like personally seen it. And it is this cup. They've called it a smoothie cup. So it's like a little travel cup, but it's got a straw built into it. So you just lift that up like that and then there's a straw in it and i always like drink out of cups of straws in when i'm at home you know like the starbucks cups like the tumbler cups i not like tumbler as in tumbler the website but like tumbler as in a tumbler cup does that make sense anyway i always drink out of them when i'm at home but then when i'm out and about i'll just bring like a water bottle and it's just not the same like i like drinking through a straw so i thought that this was perfect like you've got the straw but it's built in and then you can put it in your bag and it like stays shut and everything like i thought this was genius the only thing is though it's a little bit small but then again if you're having a smoothie i suppose it'd be this size and also you could just fill it up and at least it's not too heavy in your bag so this was the gray one it's just got like a little gray strip but they also did this in another color i can't can't really remember too much um but i really liked it and i again i think it was super inexpensive and i thought that's actually like really handy and a really clever idea and on that note that is the last thing for this pretty little thing haul so i hope you enjoyed this video i can't stop looking at the color of my hands like i'm sure they weren't this dark yesterday and i've not put any tan on them since so i feel like it's almost developed and got worse which is not ideal but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already and i shall see you at some point soon in another video bye